all right guys I'm back and uh, before we go to Brazilian forest I wanna talk to my companions act map may be even exhaust all the dialogue options that they have to gain to yeah exhaust all the dialogue options so I'll I'll maybe get some companion quests and whatnot because I looked stuff up and noticed that I'm missing some quests, companion quests specifically, that I wanna get before I go to Brazilian Forest unless I wanna backtrack. So yeah, I'll talk to Win. Uh, do you have any regrets at all? I try not to dwell too much on the mistakes of my past, of which there are many. I would go quite mad if I did that. But I do have one regret. The greatest misstep of my life. Made even more grave because it had dire consequences for someone else. Mm. <laughs> Tell me, it might make you feel better. Years ago, I was assigned as mentor to a lad, Anaren. He was my first apprentice. Anaren was an elf. Raised in one of the elven alienages, and he was very mistrustful of humans, especially humans in authority. Mm. I can see how this could be trouble. What Anaren needed was time. Time to get used to his new home. Time to emerge from his shell, so we could build a rapport. I gave him no such time. I was young and arrogant. He is a mage, I thought. He needs to grow up and act like one. I expected too much from him, too quickly. I gave no consideration to his origin or his feelings. And he retreated further from me. All I could think of was how stubborn he was, how he was throwing away all his talent and his potential, just to be difficult. <clears throat> What did he think of you? Oh, I dread to think. I was a harsh taskmistress. He might have thought I was a demon in disguise. You cannot plant crops in the cold, wintry ground. You cannot teach a student who is closed off and unresponsive. Mm. Patience is what is needed. And I learned that too late to help him. What happened to Aneri? Aneri ran away from the circle one night. I had berated him over some trivial, ridiculous matter that I no longer remember. I drove him away because of something utterly unimportant. He was a child, 14 at the time of his leaving. They had his phylactery, and they hunted him down. Hmm. Phylactery? The phylactery is a vial of blood taken from a mage. But blood is connected to life, and your blood can be used to track you down. They called him Maleficar, a mage who practices forbidden magic, deserving of death. He was a child, misunderstood and lost. I begged the Templars to tell me if he suffered, if they gave him a quick death. I got no answers from them. I was his mentor, and they wouldn't even tell me what became of him. Well, he's probably some wet stain on somewhere. <laughs> hmm. That's not your fault, Win. I should have known better. I had the best mentors. They were kind, compassionate. Why didn't I learn from them? I failed an errand. All I had to do was listen to him. He would try to talk to me, and I would tell him to concentrate on his spells. He talked about the alienage sometimes and the Dalish. He always talked about looking for the Dalish elves. Wink, wink. We are looking for the Dalish elves as, as well. Uh, maybe he did find the Dalish. The Templars are well trained and thorough. That he still lives, it would be a vain hope. The apprentices that came after Anaren benefited greatly from the lessons I learned from him. In a sense, he was my teacher. And I, his student. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. Then maybe his sacrifice was worthwhile. And there it is. My story. My one greatest regret. 
Alright, so we got Win's Regret Companion side quest, and this is Help Win Find Closure. Uh, Dalish Elves. So, Dalish Elves are living in Brazilian forest. So, <laughs> long story short, we'll probably find an airing or whatever remains of him there. What's on your mind? Nothing, I shouldn't have disturbed you. It is no trouble. Okay, so now I think we're ready to go to go to Brazilian Forest. So we're gonna take Win yes. and Zevran and I kinda wanna take Dog with me. As well. I've heard that Dog has some additional dialogue I mean scenes. Uh, some extra scenes in Brazilian forest that I haven't actually seen because I've never picked dog with me in, on any of the all right a uh, random encounter we've been waiting for you warden okay dwarf rebels so are you like people who Dislike Balen and like Haramont. Well, that sucks. And can I take my dog and attack the guy up there? I'll do that actually. Let's do this. Okay, so what can I do with you? Shred. Automatic critical hit. Charge Overwhelm. Let's do Overwhelm. <laughs> Let's take you. You're gonna be backstabbing this guy. Okay, let's do group heal. And now let's do pass red. All right, and let's do. What does crawl do? Penalty to defense. Resisted, motherfucker. Mm. This one hits up that hits opponents with a. Let's do enemy. Uh, enemy clustered, with at least two allies. Uh, use ability dread howl. Oh, never mind. At least this is actually better. So let's actually dis uh, clear this one. What about charge? Uh, enemy. Um, highest health. Highest health. Charge. And let's actually put it first. There we go. Now shred. I'm gonna have enemy. Highest or rank uh, elite or higher use ability shred. Okay, and overwhelm I'm gonna keep as a manual thing. Enemy, let's do enemy attacking win attack and then enemy. Enemy nearest visible attack. 
can save that. There we go. We, we're gonna go with these tactics. Backstab. Backstab. Alright, so I assume these dwarf rebels were supporters of Harrowmont and they were they were probably mad that we got him killed. And I'm off. And if you pick if you if Harrowmont becomes king you'll obviously get supporters from Balen's side and they'll attack you. So now that that's done with we can get out of here. Yes. So, prison and forest. Stop right there, outsider. The Dela should camp in this spot. I suggest you go elsewhere and quickly. Actually, I've been looking for the Dalish. I find that hard to believe. What business could we Dalish possibly have with a group like yours? <clears throat> I will tell that to your leader and no one else. Well, there's no reason to persuade her, I think. Well, I'll do that anyway. Seeing as you are obviously no simple trespasser, <laughs> I will leave it to the keeper to decide the importance of your business. In the camp, I suggest you keep your hands to yourself and remember that our arrows are still trained on you. Follow me. All right. Hmm. I see we have guests. <coughs> and a hound amongst them. As if we haven't had enough problems with such creatures. <laughs> Who are these strangers, Nithra? I have precious little patience and less time to spend on outsiders today. I understand, but this one claims to have important business with our people. I see. Tell me, stranger, what business could you possibly have with us? We have our own issues we must deal with, as you can see. <clears throat> I have I come representing the Grey Wardens. You might have simply said so to begin with. Masiran Smithra, you may return to your post. Manuvinen Keeper. Now, allow me to introduce myself. I am Zaphrian, the Keeper of this clan. Its guide and preserver of our ancient lore. And you are? <laughs> My name is Dick. A pleasure to meet you. Manners. From a Shemlin. Interesting. What might be your mission here? Have you come to spread news of the Blight? I had already sensed the corruption spreading in the south. The existence of the Blight is not news to me. I would have taken the clan north by now, had we the ability to move. Sadly, as you can see, we do not. I imagine you are here regarding the treaty we signed centuries ago. Unfortunately, we may not be able to live up to the promise we made. This will require some explanation. Please, follow me. All right. The clan came to the Brazilian forest one month ago, as is our custom when we enter this part of Ferelden. We are always wary of the dangers in the forest, but we did not expect the werewolves would be lying in wait for us. They ambushed us, and though we drove the beasts back, much damage was done. Many of our warriors lie dying as we speak, even with all our magic and healing skill. We will eventually be forced to slay our brethren to prevent them from becoming beasts. The Blight's evil must be stopped. But we are in no position to uphold our obligations. I am truly sorry. Well, shit. Mm. Um. There are actual werewolves in the forest. There was a time in Ferelden's history when werebeasts roamed the lands in great numbers. Spirits possessed animals and turned them into horrific monsters. The humans warred against and destroyed these creatures. 
No doubt their tales of those days grow ever more inaccurate. Werewolves are beasts not unlike abominations, possessed wolves driven mad. The were beasts are not all gone from this land, and the ones that stalk the Priscillian forests are proof of this. Why did these beasts attack you? They are savage and unrelenting. They need no reason to attack anyone. What is curious, however, is the ambush. We expect werewolves to be no more cunning than a rabid wolf. The ambush suggests a level of intelligence we've never seen before. Maybe they aren't as un unintelligent as you think. I doubt that. The very curse that is in their blood fills them with an unreasoning rage that precludes any true thought. Is there no way to help your men? The affliction is a curse that runs rampant in their blood, bringing great agony and then ultimately either death or a transformation into something monstrous. The only thing that could help them must come from the source of the curse itself. And that... that would be no trivial task to retrieve. <laughs> uh, I'm good at non-trivial tasks. Within the Brazilian forest dwells a great wolf. We call him Witherfang. It was within him that the curse originated, and through his blood that it has been spread. If he is killed and his heart brought to me, perhaps I could destroy the curse. But this task has proven too dangerous for us. I sent some hunters into the forest a week ago, but they have not returned. I cannot risk any more of my clan. <clears throat> you said you could perhaps destroy the curse. There is no guarantee that this will work, as I suspect. But it's the only hope we have left. Have you considered seeking outside help? From whom? The children of the stone? The Shemlin? Do you truly think they have time to spare for us? Uh, no. I'll find this Witherfang for you. I must warn you that more than werewolves lurk in the Brazilian forest. It has a history full of carnage and murder, you see. Where there is so much death, the veil separating the spirit realm from our own becomes thin, allowing spirits to possess things, living or dead. But if you can indeed help, then I wish you luck. Uh, I have some questions for you. Make them quick, if you please. I have much to do here. My apprentice Lanaya or Seyrel, the clan's storyteller, could provide you with answers just as easily. Uh... How do I find Witherfang? Do you have any advice? Watch for the white wolves. They are his eyes and ears in the forest. Tell me more about this curse the hunters suffer from. There is not much to say. It stemmed originally from Witherfang, but now any werewolf may infect someone with it. So did all werewolves everywhere stem from Witherfang? No. The ones from this forest, however, do. So if a werewolf bites me, then I will become infected? It is possible, but not guaranteed. The only way to protect against the curse is not to be bitten. How do you know if you have been infected by the curse? You will know within a matter of days. You will begin to sweat and vomit, and most tellingly, your temper will become wild and uncontrollable. If that happens to you, you should seek out Witherfang even more swiftly. Your mission at that point will be rather... personal. How did this curse start? That is a long tale I do not have time to tell. Ask Seyrel about it if you wish. Go on then. I should go. I must return to caring for my people. Creator's speed on your way. Okay, so we gotta... So we have to now... Landmark tent. Okay. My body dominance is now active, alright. Increase it, harms aggression and tenacity in its defense. Okay. Huh. Please leave that be. If you have need of equipment, I am sure Master Verathorn can help. <laughs> I was already stealing something. Uh, Satrian said that said that I could have what's inside here. Please do not lie to me. I find it much <laughs> unbecoming. Oh damn. Under an Atitian Grey Warden. My name is Lunaya. I am Zaprian's first, what you might call an apprentice, perhaps. I've been studying under the Keeper all my life. I am... 
a bit curious of the outside world. Do you mind if I ask you a question or two? Uh, you asked me a question right there. <laughs> well, uh, if you like, go ahead. I hear the human cities are very large. Thousands upon thousands of souls all packed together in their houses. Is that true? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, some are larger than the eye can see. How very loud that must be with everyone talking all at once. I try to imagine those of our people living in such a place, surrounded by walls of stone and indifference. It is <laughs> Well, the city thought. elves. Uh, it isn't an easy life for them, that's true. I suppose you have met many of my kind in your travels. My heart goes out to them. It is said that one day we will have a land of our own. We Dalish gather the ancient wisdom in preparation for this. When that day comes, all elves, even those who have forgotten, will reclaim their former glory. I have a question, if it's not too impolite to ask. Do your people regret what they did to ours? Some of us do. Not all be not all humans are the same. I see. That is difficult for our people to accept. Even if only some were in favor of what was done to us, the rest did nothing to stop it. A poet once wrote of them before the fall of the Dales. Like dragons they fly, glory upon wings. Like dragons they savage, fearsome pretty things. But you don't need me to quote poetry to you. Forgive me. Perhaps you have some questions of your own. Tell me more about yourself. I'm hardly anyone special, I assure you. If I seem different from the rest of my clan, it's only because I was born amongst humans. I came to the Dalish at a very young age, but I've always retained my curiosity about the world I came from. How did you come to the Dalish if you were so young? My parents were servants to a human merchant whose caravans plied the southern routes. One day, bandits killed him, and my parents both. Well, damn. I was the only survivor, just a young girl, and the bandits took me. I was their servant for several years. <clears throat> I'm sorry. It must have been horrible. It was. The long years of reflection have allowed me to come to terms with it, to put them in perspective. I can only imagine what would have happened had the clan not saved me from them. I owe them my life for that, and more. You said that the Dalish rescued from the bandits. The bandits killed a scout when the clan passed near their camp. When the clan discovered him, Zathrian came looking for his killers. He followed their tracks for almost a month, and when he finally caught up to us, he fell on the bandits like a terror. No one could stop him. I sat there, and I watched him attack them in a blur, and I reveled in every blow. When he saw me, the fury in his eyes turned to pity. He took me back to the clan, and I've been here ever since. Didn't you have family you could have returned to? It's possible I might have had some, maybe many. Zathrian offered to take me back, but I had no idea where I was from, and I wanted to stay with a man who rescued me. The clan is my family. Any others out there? It's best they believe that little girl died with her parents. For now, the clan is all I need. My old world could not have offered me all this, and the knowledge of a keeper as well. Perhaps one day, when I am keeper, I might inquire out of curiosity. I'm not sure what lies down that road except pain, however. How did you become a keeper? I am not a keeper. I am Zathrian's first. Though because I was not born into the clan, becoming his first was very difficult. We Dalish have old traditions. The clans come from the ranks of the nobility that once ruled the Dales, you see. The keepers of those old clans have the strongest and purest blood that reaches back to the days of Arlathan. I had to compete against the other candidates for first, to be better than them in everything, simply because I was not of the old blood. You must be proud of your accomplishments. I am. The ceremony where Zathrian anointed me as his first was the proudest day of my life. The clan has placed great trust in me. One day, I will lead them and be the one who secures our future. Why are the Dalish so hostile? They have reason. Since the days of Arlathan, my people have been either subjugated or homeless. Uh. 
But I'm not responsible for what's being done to the elves. Aren't you? You're human. And to many of them, you represent the humiliations our people have suffered for generations. You may not have been personally responsible, but such feelings are not easily overruled by logic or fairness. You aren't hostile? I was not born here, so I see things differently from the others. Still, I do not blame them for what they feel. Perhaps this may change one day, but I believe the humans would have to take the first steps, if they are capable. What is this Arlathan you mentioned? It was our ancestral home long ago when the humans first came to these lands. We were free then and immortal. We did not know how to deal with the humans, and in the end, they turned their power against us and destroyed our Lathan. Our ancestors were enslaved and our culture lost forever. Does our Lathan still exist? Not to my knowledge. According to the old tales, the human mages sank our Lathan into the ground, crushing it beneath the rock. But the... didn't Arlathan fight back? The Tevinter Imperium was a force to be reckoned with. It was ruled by mages with powerful blood magic. Though Arlathan fought, they lost. So you lost a war. You wouldn't be the first. One wonders why we weren't more prepared when the humans conquered our second homeland. We will be more cautious if we ever have a third. Your homeland was called the Dales, I thought. That was our second homeland. Our first was the great city of Arlathan. The Dales came when they were freed from enslavement. Elves everywhere journeyed hundreds and thousands of miles to the Dales, eager to start their lives anew. They called it the Long Walk. They reached the Dales and made it their own. And one day it was taken from us too. And you wonder why we are hostile. <laughs> is, there no, uh, is there no way to get on our clan's good side? It requires an individual to prove he is not the outsider we have come to expect. Your own task to help our clan is certainly a step in the right direction. Certainly. Um, what can you tell me about Satrian? Nothing that you could not ask Zathrian himself. He is the keeper of this clan and has been for a very long time. He is also a very good man who has lost much. The Dalish are everything to him, and he would do anything to protect them. Lost much? What has he lost? He... lost his family. A very long time ago. I don't know the story, but I understand the circumstances were horrific. Satrian says he needs you right away. <laughs> get him off the chest. Well, anyway, we can get the chest open once we deal with the main storyline. So, uh, I should go. As you wish. Darth Shiro. Alright, so we got some... We got some Godex stuff. So there's a bunch of quests here that we can... I never thought I'd ever Going. be put in a Danish camp. God of the Graft. Let's get those colored inks. Let's load everything in here. I'll take the elf roots first. Ben Harrell, the Dread Wolf. So those, they are all Fen Harrell and the other statues over there, they are Elvis or Dalish gods that they were worshipped or used to worship. Now can you open locks? Yes you can. You could open that lock, that's nice. A pile of sacks. Scout's bow. Some Hala. The Hala. Yeah. The Dalish call them their guides. They even lead an elf to oblivion when he dies, or so they claim. Alright. So Zevran is not an, a Dalish elf, he is a shitty, uh, city elf. <laughs> shitty elf. <laughs> city elf, so. Yeah, he doesn't have any ties to the Dalish elves, or he, d he also does not really care about their culture. Zevran is quite selfish, he doesn't really care about anyone else except himself. 
So let's look around. Let's look that. A love letter. Those we need. Yes, I'm still here. So yeah, we need more love, love letters, I believe. Daramisu, not Tiramisu. Elder of the God of Vengeance, Elganan. The Pile of Scrolls. The Long Walk. There are the men. Mithras over there. So that's where we came, I guess. And I'm off. Let's do that. So let's talk to. Let's pick up all the quests, uh, quests that are over here. So who are you, Athras? I'm Derenetitian, stranger. I am Athras. I hope the others have not been too harsh in their treatment of you. <laughs> They've been a bit suspicious. It is not our intention to insult a Grey Warden. We are simply wrapped up in the plight of our hunters. It is easy to forget simple niceties at such a time. I understand you will search for the wolves in the Brazilian forest. I would join you, but Zathrian has forbidden me. You don't seem... you do not seem very ha happy about that. None of us are happy about this situation, and I least of all. But I shouldn't speak too much about this, especially with an outsider. I am sure you have little interest in my problems. Uh, please, I'd like to hear about it. It's odd to talk so freely with a stranger, but perhaps you can help me. My wife, Denila, and I both fought the werewolves in the ambush. She was injured so gravely, the curse spread rapidly in her. Zathrian fought hard to ease her pain, but there was little he could do. And though he says that Denila is dead, he will not let me see her. Her body. I am beginning to believe she became a werewolf. And that it is being kept from me so I do not go chasing after her. If I could just know if Denila is alive or what happened to her, then I could be at peace. Mm. I will seek her out in a forest. I have an amulet made by our craftsmen. It's not much, but I would be happy to give it to you in return for any news. Alright, so we'll keep an eye for any werewolves that we find out. So, who are you, Saril? We few wanderers greet you, Shemlin. We understand you are venturing into the haunted forest to save our brethren. I suspect your efforts may be in vain. An entire group of our hunters went into the forest to do as you intend, and they have not returned. <laughs> yes, but they weren't us. <laughs> if I'm lucky, maybe I can find them. An outsider to the rescue, but of course. What were we doing trying to solve our own problems? Uh, I'm just trying to help your people. Nothing will help us now. Least of all the meddling of an outsider. You are being most unkind, Cyril. Would you refuse our hunter's help simply because of the hand that offered it? I have allowed my bitterness to cloud my better judgment. Forgive me. Damn Shemlin. straight. It is most difficult to forget the lessons the Shemlin have taught us. It is even more difficult when you live amongst them, trust me. Perhaps I can yet make amends. Stay while I spin a tale for our children. And then I will tell you of the forest if you desire. All right. Yes, I'd like that. Come and join us then, all of you. Story time. Now, what say we tell the story of the fall of the Dales? Which of you children knows that best? I... I think I do. There's only one yes. children. <laughs> then come, child. Oh, don't be frightened of the outsiders. Now, where do you suppose such a tale should begin? When we were slaves? Yes. Long ago, our people were slaves to an empire the Shemlin had built on the darkest magic. They took away our history and our language and left us nothing. And then that empire fell. We were freed. Because Andraste came with her army and Chartan joined her. Yes. Andraste, the Shemlin prophet, came out of the south and challenged the Tabinter Imperium. Our ancestor, Chartan, fought at her side. And when the rebellion came to an end, we were given a new homeland in the west. We began to rebuild the culture and history we had lost in our years of slavery. We worshipped the creators and made the Dales our home. Perhaps you know what happened next, stranger. Do you know what happened to the Dales? <laughs> uh, 
Uh, <laughs> I don't really like any of these options. Something you think was unfair, no doubt. Uh, <laughs> no. Well, you started a war with us and lost. We started the war, did we? And you, child. What do you believe happened to the Dales? The Shamlin wouldn't let us be. Indeed. They resented that we would not worship their maker. And they resented our ways because they were so different from their own. The Shemlin nations grew cold towards the Dales. They called us blasphemers and tyrants and declared war upon us. A great crusade. Mm -mm. It's a war you it's a war that you started, I'm told. Told by whom? A history that has been dictated by the victors, no doubt. Oh, I am certain we played a part in our downfall. We believed that the Shemlin would not revoke their prophet's gift so lightly. We were wrong. They took our lands. Forcing us to abandon our gods and live as beggars in Shemlin cities. But there were those of us who refused to abandon our ways. They emblazoned the symbols of the creators upon their flesh and vowed to keep their ancient law alive. That's us. That's the Dalish. Indeed, child. We chose to wander, homeless, rather than be ruled by the Shemlin. And all our clans wander alone until the day we have a homeland once more. Then we bring the old ways back to our people. Because they have forgotten it all. For we are the Dalish. The keepers of the lost law. The walkers of the lonely path. We are the Elvenard. And never again shall we submit. And that is the tale of the Dales, stranger. Thank you for allowing us to tell it to you. Even though you were quite hostile towards me. <laughs> um, perhaps you'll allow me to tell a story as well. Perhaps another time. You are the guest here, and one who may yet prove of great help to our ailing hunters. Now, as I said I would, I can tell you what I know of the Brazilian forest. Do you wish to hear it? Yes. Our legends say that before the Shemlin came, the Brazilian forest was a place of our ancestors that predated even our oldest homeland. The people of the Imperium came here and gave the forest its name. If they found traces of our ancestors, we cannot say. If they did, those elves were slain or enslaved. We know only that a great many battles were fought here. These trees grow upon the graves of those who fell, Shemlin and elves both. And? So much death in one place tore the veil into the beyond. The Shemlin know the beyond as the Fade, the place of dreams and spirits. When the veil is torn, spirits pass into our world freely. The legends say that one great spirit possessed the wolf that became Witherfang, who passed its curse of rage onto men and created werewolves. <clears throat> there were battles in the forest? Who can say what value the Imperium placed on this land? And how many elves died here in slavery? Even the barbarians who came to overthrow the Imperium fought and died on this soil. This Witherfang still exists today. So Zathrian insists. He says that Witherfang does not age as the werewolves do. Witherfang is as much spirit as it is beast, and thus it is immortal. Perhaps it cannot even be slain. At the very least, it is old and powerful, much as Zathrian himself. So there are many spirits in the forest. The forest is said to be haunted. Spirits possess the trees. The wolves, even the bodies of the dead. They yearn for true life, you see. How many werewolves are there? No one knows. When the Shemlin lived in these parts, the curse would spread anew to a few of them with each passing year. They would run off into the forest, never to be seen again. Eventually, all the Shemlin left. One assumes the werewolves survive by passing their curse to their offspring. They have had no new blood. Now, that is. Have the hunters become werewolves? It is said that one or two have turned already, though the Keeper denies it. As for the rest, 
They will either die or turn, unless they are killed out of mercy. I would rather die than become a ravening soulless beast, wouldn't you? That's all I need to know. One last warning. The forest is like a thing alive. It changes as it wills, closing paths behind you and opening up new ones. Too many have become lost within, unable to find their way out. Were I you, I would endeavor not to make the forest my enemy. Alright, thanks. So let's... Oh, I can still talk to you. What's up? Is there something you need? Anarin. Who was Anarin? Oh right, it's the it's Wynn's former pupil. Have you ever heard of a of an elf named Anarin? I I appreciate you trying to find him, but what are the chances? Anarin the healer? You know Anarin? He he lives? No, it can't be him. Perhaps it is a common elven name. No, I know of only one Anarin. Ah, it makes sense. Anarin said that he was from the human cities. You are old friends then. Uh, if it is the same Anarin, then yes, we knows him. If you seek Anarin, you must venture into the forest. He prefers to be amidst the trees and the animals. Thank you all so much. I should go. Darth Shirol. Alright, so now we are fairly, fairly certain that Enerin at least made it safely to Brazilian Forest. Who are you? Uh, hello? <laughs> There's no need to be afraid of me. Uh, of course. I'm, I'm very sorry. It's just that we don't get many visitors. Uh, like you, I mean. Of your you kind. fucking racist. <laughs> You've never seen a human before? Oh, of course. It's just that they don't... I mean, you don't... Oh, I should start over. I'm Kamen, a hunter apprentice. Though I wish I could become a real hunter. <laughs> uh, why can't you? I shouldn't be talking about this to an outsider. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> Tell me before I kick your head in. Um, try me. I might surprise you. I suppose there's no harm in it. It's not like you can help me. I've been an apprentice for too long. To become a true hunter, I must bring back the pelt of a beast I killed myself. A boar or a wolf or something. I wanted to hunt in the forest, but we're forbidden to enter because of the attack. But the real problem is Dana. Girl problems, I see. She's my heart's desire. I have asked for her hand, but she cruelly refuses it. She will not bond with an apprentice, she says, and calls me a child. I am no child. If I was a hunter, I could prove it, but I cannot hunt and... And Dana will never bond with me. I feel so helpless. I shouldn't have brought it up. Just leave me to my misery. There must be some way to solve your problem. You think I haven't thought about this? There's nothing I can do. <clears throat> Perhaps I could talk to Gaina for you. I suppose you could, but what good would that do? The situation hasn't changed. Uh, have you tried wooing Gaina? Wooing? I don't understand. Uh, have you tried giving her a gift? A gift? No, that wouldn't be appropriate. <laughs> Not before we're married. Uh, how about really showing your love? I've serenaded her, and we've talked many times under the moon. But that doesn't matter if I'm still an apprentice. Not to her. <laughs> mm. uh, let's forget that. <laughs> uh, let me think of something else then. Such as? I'll have to get back to you. All right. I'm not going anywhere anyhow. Um, we can probably go talk to Gaina. 
That gammon wing cane of sand. You know, there's the option to I can get a belt for you when I'm in the forest, but that would be cheating. Because he wouldn't have done the hunting. And I don't think that would be good. Andaran Atitian outsider. You are Gaina, correct? Kaman mentioned you. You spoke to him? What did he say? <laughs> he said you were cruel and that he hates you. <laughs> he said that if he was lucky, you'd be. <laughs> okay. He said that he said that you refused to give me your hand. Oh. I don't expect an outsider to understand our ways, but I just can't bond with Kamen. He's been a hunter apprentice for over two years now, and he's yet to slay a proper beast. Each time he's tried, something has gone wrong. Perhaps the creators do not wish us to bond. I cannot bond with an apprentice hunter, can I? Mm. If you love him, it doesn't matter what he is, does it? But... What if he never becomes a proper hunter? What will become of our family? Uh, if you love him, then believe in him and help him succeed. Oh, you are right. I have made poor Kamen miserable. No wonder he cannot complete his hunt. Masiranas, thank you. You have helped me put this into perspective. I will go and speak to Kamen. There we go. I'm the best. Kamen, I have been a fool. Gaina? What, what do you mean? Have you changed your mind? I have. The outsider has helped me to see that I was wrong. I have made you miserable, and I should not have. But what about my hunt? Oh, I don't care about that. I know you will pass your hunt in time, and we will be happy. Us and our children. Thank you, Gaina. You've made me a happy man. I feel blessed by the gods today. Noise. So what do I get out of this? We are both very grateful for the part you've played in bringing us together. How marvelous you are. I am so happy. Here, take this. It's been in my family for a very long time, but I hope it plays some part in your battle against the Darkspawn. It's the very least we could do. Nice. So what did I get? Okay... Scout's bow, I think. That's that. That's what I got, maybe. So that's what you gave me. Ah, Tale of Iloran. Some codex shit, I guess. You motherfucker! You could've given me something useful. useful. Alright, Elora. Your turn now. Comes. Oh, I beg your pardon, stranger. I was so busy attending to the Hala, I did not hear your approach. Uh, who are you? My name is Alora. I am the master herder in charge of caring for the Hala. Not as exciting as being a Grey Warden, but the Hala are vital to us. <laughs> you think being a Grey Warden is exciting? Not as much as I assumed you thought my task boring in comparison. Am I wrong? <laughs> Less dangerous, certainly. In normal times, perhaps. But in normal times, there would be no blight. And being a Grey Warden would not be such a dangerous occupation either. In truth, my place as the Master Herder is a small one. But one I am quite satisfied with. Would that we could all find such peace with our lot in life. What is Sahala? They are the noble beasts that pull our Aravel. What humans call land ships. They are our companions and our guides. Uh, my own people give similar herds, but of horses. I have seen your horses. The relationship is different, as is the purpose. We ride the Hala, but never with reins or a saddle. It is the Hala who decide where to lead us, and our privilege that they take our Aravel with them. In return, it's the herder's job to speak to the Hala and care for their needs. It's a bond of friendship, and not servitude. So why are they in the... In a pen, then. Do they want to be in there? 
So why have you separated this one from the others? I fear she may have been bitten during the werewolf attack. I have tried speaking with her, but she is too agitated for me to understand. The curse would not affect her as it would us, but it would still be lethal. And it may prove contagious to the other Hala as well. I can find no wound on her, but if she's truly ill, then... Then I will have to put her out of her misery, for her sake as well as that of the others. Uh, is there anything I can do to help? I don't know. Do you have any skills that might help her? If you do, I would be grateful. <laughs> Pretend to examine the Hala. Mm. Um, examine, uh, try to calm the Hala. Oh, I'm doing it. Down. That's it, love. Be calm. Tell me what troubles you. Ah, I see. It is her life mate who is sick, not her. He was bitten on the leg during the attack, and she fears greatly for him. I did not realize another Hala <laughs> was injured. This will allow me to prevent the sickness from spreading to the entire herd. Nasiranus, thank you. You have done my clan a great boon this day. I will always be grateful for your help. Uh, good stuff. Okay. I didn't even think that I had the um Well, I had I had enough survival to actually be able to do that do that thing. Ah, allow me to say Masiranus once again for your assistance. The herder was so bad that even though the um, the Hala that was distressed didn't have any wounds. Uh, she didn't bother to examine any of the other Hala. What an idiot. Anyway. Varathorn. What are you doing? You've warped the wood completely. Did you leave it out in the rain? No, Master Varathorn. I, uh, I think I just used too much heat. You're not smelting ore like a Durgenlin. This is living wood. It requires patience and delicate hands, not more heat. My actions bring me sorrow, Master Verathorn. And so they should. Truly the art will be lost to us forever at this rate. Throw away your dead wood and start anew, and I shall speak to our guest. You're most welcome here, stranger. <laughs> Is there anything I might do to help you in your task? Uh, what exactly do you make here? I'm the clan's craftsmaster. It's my responsibility to learn what I can of the ancient elven arts of shaping wood and ore. In truth... We Dalish know little of the art compared to what we once did. And even what we know has taken us many lifetimes to achieve. There is wood that, if treated properly, is as hard as steel but far lighter. It grows only in this forest. Ironbark. The Keeper has forbidden us from entering the forest to collect the wood. Of course. This means I cannot make our finest crafts for years to come. Well, what if I found some Ironbark for you? I would be hesitant to ask it of you, but if you should come across iron bark, I suppose there would be no harm in gathering some. It is blue and very distinctive. You can only harvest the bark which has fallen off the tree from age. Now, if you find some, bring it to me, and I will craft it for you. What kind of item would you make? I excel in making blades from the iron bark, or, or perhaps a breastplate, provided there's enough wood, that is. Uh, very well. I'll take a look when I'm in the forest. That would please me. So long as our hunters come first. Sure. Uh, let's barter. I am no merchant, but let us trade. Perhaps there's something here which will be of value to you. Uh, okay, soul rot bomb. When thrown, this flask splashes soul rot acid, dealing spirit damage to all creatures it's, it hits. Acid flask. Uh, okay. Uh, you sell lurium potions, that's good. What does Mage Pain do? Drain mana, drain stamina. Okay, Adder's Kiss, Acidic Coating. So I'm looking at the, po uh, the poisons. Alright, health poultice recipes. Maybe I'll get some, but I do have... What's this? Alright, it's more of these skill tomes that I'm probably gonna buy. The Dark Moon, two wheel power, armor penetration, Dalish gloves, Dalish boots, 
there is armor. I wonder if these are these are set items. Armorsman tension tensioner rapid aim. Okay, nothing else. All right, so I think we're gonna sell you this. We're gonna sell you this. And we are gonna sell you the leather helmets. Both of them. I don't have anything else here. The clan shield, you can get that. Um, okay, alright. So, Iron Bug. So, I think now we have all of the quests from the camp. So, I think we can finally enter. Brazilian forest and do the stuff that needs to be done over there, so So yeah In the next episode, so see you then